Okay, so this is the finished product. Valve cover's on, all bolts are tight. Um, off camera, I installed the uh, coil pack here and I torqued these bolts to around 65 inch pounds, the same as I torqued all the uh, camshaft cover bolts or valve, co uh, valve cover bolts. Um, put the dipstick back in, put the oil cap back on. There was a clip clip back here that was stuck onto the um, to the old valve cover that I had to release with the screwdriver back here on the old one. So, and that will hold in place here, this uh, plastic uh, uh, vacuum tube here. And then um, you can secure that there and secure that one there. And then the one that has the special clip, that's how it looks like when it's in. And you'll, you'll feel it push down about um, maybe six millimeters, seven millimeters, you'll, you'll feel it seat in there. Just make sure the O-ring is flat before you uh, push it on there. And then what I, what I like to use is uh, heavy duty silicone spray and then Q&D electronic cleaner. And then this is the uh, electronic uh, for the connectors. And then this is a uh, ultra gray Permatex maximum torque gasket maker. And that's what I used for the valve cover on the, uh, when I showed that earlier in the video. And so now that I've got everything back together, I'm going to re-smoke check it and uh, show, you, uh, show you how it's supposed to look when it's working properly. So I got the smoker going and I'll show you here. And I got some fans blowing, so I hope hope that's not going to interfere with the uh, the audio of this video. So smoking pretty good. So I'll put it back in there. And guys, I'm sorry again for the shakiness of this video. Please forgive me. I've got to uh, get a tripod at some point. But anyway, the, you know that you don't have any vacuum leaks when when it wants to pop out on its own like it's doing now. It's all the way in there the way it should be. It's not in crooked. It's in straight. And then you'll look over here, there's no smoke. Remember, remember right here? On the old one with the X on it, it was smoking real good. So how I know it's fixed is that I'm holding it on here and you know, it might not pop off, but if it does, then you know you've got pressure in there and everything's holding. So um, you can just do this and hold it in place and even double check even more. This little pump isn't gonna do more than maybe two, three PSI. It's very little, it's not gonna blow anything up or damage anything so so this is after i fixed the uh, camshaft cover valve cover um looking at the live data we're in closed loop um short term long term fuel trim numbers look excellent um i've seen them be close to zero you you don't want to go more than plus plus is it's not going to say plus it's just going to show the number negative means it's taking away fuel so for example long term uh short term fuel trim if it's uh five and then long-term fuel trim is negative five, then that's balancing, that's zero. That means that it's stoichiometric, mean 14 parts air, one part fuel, and that's perfectly balanced fuel and air mixture. Our oxygen sensor needs to switch above and below a half a volt because it is a narrow band oxygen sensor. It's going to do that, so it needs to be switching kind of rapidly, not lightning fast, but it needs to be switching multiple times within about 10, 15 seconds going 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.2, 0 0.7, 0 0.1, 0 0.8, 0 0.3. It's just constantly going above and below a half a volt, switching constantly back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then, um, so basically, oops. So basically I fixed it. We're all good. Engine runs super smooth. Everything's great. And, uh, this is a fix.